You don't need fancy app for productivity. Apple Calendar on your Mac has everything you need. Stick with me for a few minutes and I will show you how to master it. Let's start with the basics. These are the essential features that every beginner should master. If you use the shortcut Command N to create new events or reminder in seconds. But wait, what calendar option do we have and how to add them? Go to the calendar, settings, by default you should have your calendar via iCloud, however if you click on the plus button and now you can choose your favorite email provider. Pro tip, if you use Google Calendar, adjust the refresh calendar option to every 1 to 5 minutes. This is pretty helpful if you get new events in your Google Calendar and they will appear for calendar very fast. Under the alerts tab, let's set the birthday alerts to one or two days before, so we have some time to buy some gifts. To see the birthday of your friends and family, open the contact app and add the birthday under the birthday tab and now you will never miss a birthday. And if you still have trouble to see birthdays on your calendar, go to the general tab and check if the show birthday calendar is turned on. But wait, I have one more for you. For automatic payments like subscription, put it in your calendar as well. Here's how. Go to File, New Calendar, iCloud and give it a name. And if you want to add new subscription calendar via your Google Calendar, you have to go to your Google Calendar account in the browser and add the calendar there. It will appear in your Apple Calendar like I did here. Okay, let's continue. Create a new event find out the date your subscription will charge, set it to all day, go to repeat and set it to every month and you're ready to go. And now you can see all your subscription in advance. You can cancel any subscription you don't need anymore at the right time before it gets charged. And for payments you need take action. I like to use reminders and yes, you can see all reminders in your calendar now. You can create a new reminder directly in calendar or you go to the reminder app and can create reminder there and make sure the reminder calendar I call it are checked so you can see the reminders in your calendar. Okay, now you have the option add location and notes directly to your event, create a new event or click on existing event and type your location name. You also can add some notes and this is especially useful for traveling or meetings and Apple Maps integration can directly guide you there. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite feature. Hit the keyboard shortcut command end once again and just type movie at 7 pm on friday and apple calendar will automatically create the event for you we covered the basics let's dive into a feature that take your productivity to the next level travel time feature also one of my favorite feature normally people use it for all calculate how long it's take to get to an event or the location and it will block in this style the time you need to go there it's a great feature but here's how i use it if i have some time blocks or task for example i like to add some buffer time and now i can see the full time plus the buffer time i need to accomplish this task or this time block because to be honest everyone of us had this experience we block the time and then we needed some more time or we get distracted so this is pretty helpful for me i can exactly plan my day if you ever wondered how i can see different time zone in apple calendar here is how you can set up time zones support go to settings advanced tab and here check if the time zone support is checked this is super helpful if you work with people across multiple time zones and or travel often now you will get a new button where you can change the different time zones and see exactly what time that meeting in a different time zone. I know this is not ideal solution compared to another calendar, how, the, how they display different time zones, but it's still helpful. I think you already recognized, I like to assign specific color to each calendar. For example, wealth is basically my work, health, personal and subscription to visually and organize my daily schedule and it's much easier to see everything what is going on in your life plus i track 
two holiday calendar as well one is from germany on thailand this is optional you don't need to do it but i like to see the holidays all right let's explore some underrated feature that can make huge difference if you go under the year view you can see this view it's not really give us much of information we can make it better here is how go to settings again i promise this is the last time we go in into the settings go to the advanced tab now check show events in year view while we're here in this menu you can also turn show weeks numbers if you prefer to see it and now if we go back that looks more useful you can exactly see how full your days are in yeah different color i love it you also can easily find some events from the past of course if you put the events in your calendar simply go to the search tab and search for what you're looking for pro tip if you see a date in the messages app or notes or mail app you can easily create event from that text click on the text date and select create new event and it will create directly an event in your calendar how to share your calendar with your friends and family this is icloud only hover over your icloud calendar and now you will see this icon click on it and enter the email address and you're ready to go for google calendar you have to go again in google calendar web and then you have to set it over there i wish i can directly use it in apple calendar that i can adjust it all all right thank you for your time and let me know in comments below which is your favorite tip or feature have a great day and see you in the next one